February, of course, marks Black History Month and the book Black Broadway, African Americans on the Great White Way offers an in-depth look at the unique history of black performers on stage. Our Cheryl Will sat down with the author and some well-known theater artists to chat about that book. You wanna feel the train of Jennifer Hudson electrifies the Broadway stage as Shug Avery in a revival of The Color Purple. So what did I miss? And the hottest ticket in town is Hamilton, which features African American and Latino actors who portray the nation's founding fathers. Actors of color are shining bright on the Great White Way this season, but to paraphrase playwright Langston Hughes, it's been no crystal stare. African Americans first surfaced in New York theaters during the 19th century during the era of the minstrel show. That's when black actors wore blackface. Veteran Broadway producer Stuart Lane is the author of Black Broadway, African Americans on the Great White Way. Broadway sort of has represented the cultural change. I mean, if you want to see how America has changed in attitude, follow the plays as you go along. And you can see, you know, you're from Uncle Tom's Cabin, where they're trying to explain this is a culture far into most of the nation to today. In 1910, vaudeville star Burt Williams became a sensation on Broadway when he was the only black performer cast in the all-white Ziegfeld Follies. It kind of helped to start establishing uh, the, the black artist on his own right. Uh, granted, it's still, you know, not perfect. It's in a white Ziegfeld Follies world, but, but it's a beginning, and that's, that's part of the, the optimism of what I have in the book. Things have changed so much, and there's so much more to go, but look how far we've come. Williams set the stage for generations of African-American actors who would follow him. From Bill Bojangles Robinson and Yubi Blake to Paul Robeson. Maurice Hines is currently starring in Tapping Through Life. The entertainer remembers many of those legends. I fell in love with a dancer named Teddy Hale, who used to do a big thing on Begin the Begin at the Apollo. And of course, Fayard Nicholas was my idol of the Nicholas Brothers, because I loved the way he moved his hands. It was very balletic, and I was very interested in ballet then. Woke up this morning and about dawn. Leading ladies like Ethel Waters, Lena Horne, and Pearl Bailey garnered rave reviews for their standout performances, even when Jim Crow still ruled half the country. Irene Gandy is a trailblazer in her own right. She's the only black female union publicist for Broadway. On Broadway, there's only one color. It's not the great white way, it's the great green way. And if you have a show that's making money, that's what's going to happen, whether it's black or Spanish or Asian. All black casts like Porgy and Bess, Carmen Jones, and A Raisin in the Sun, which was the first Broadway play written by a black woman, reflected the evolution of how African Americans wanted to be portrayed on stage. Join us, if you feel so Broadway veteran Ben Vereen says it's the love of theater that drives him. That's what the arts do. We diversify. We show you that we are a people working together in an art form called life. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love that we are able to do in the theater. That's our job. Mm -hmm. That's our purpose. We are spiritual enforcers. Mm -hmm. We're enforcing the arts through love. The Wiz was a wow in the mid-70s, a real game changer. The all-black production team and cast played by their own rules. Some 40 years later, Tony Award-winning choreographer George Faison says you cannot discuss the history of black Broadway without talking about The Wiz. It was magic. We gave you magic. We gave you glitter until we got choked on it. Many Broadway watchers say diversity is at an all-time high, but they will never forget the struggle that African Americans had to go through to stand in the spotlight. Our stories are on the street, and I think how to live is what we do. We interpret people so they can see themselves. For On Stage Across America, I'm Cheryl Wills.
Thanks, Cheryl. Like some great people in that in that piece, huh? Absolutely. Trailblazers. Trailblazers. For sure.